I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious developers just like you and me. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life in all circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions, especially with the uncertain times that we're all living in today. Skillshare is a perfect way for you to brush up on technical skills that you can use to secure your future as aspiring developer. One of the classes that I'm particularly interested in is the hand coding your first website HTML and CSS basics original by Rich Armstrong. And I think this is perfect for building that basic foundation that you need to help you move on to JavaScript and building your own websites on your own. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I hope you all enjoyed the rest of this video. Wish I could say I was finally over you Yo, what is up YouTube? What is up everyone? It's good to see you guys. I'm sorry for not uploading the last two weeks. I honestly have a very valid reason on why I wasn't able to actually create content, even upload anything to Instagram. And it's because, yo, the last two weeks, I've been packing my things and I've been preparing for a move. For the last two weeks, I've been trying to determine what to leave behind in the West Coast and what to bring with me and trying to just like plan everything, man, because what I've done literally since Friday is that for the last five days, I've been driving from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast. 2,300 miles, five days of driving, five hotels. I am finally here on the East Coast. I'm in Tennessee. What I want to do in this video is really just give you guys a quick life update before I start vlogging my whole life here in Tennessee now, man. First of all, you might be wondering, why did I move? Why would I leave the West Coast where everything's like, honestly pretty awesome? <laughs> Number one is I received a job offer for this company, right? Now, I'm not an employee. I'm an independent contractor for this company and I prefer to remain an independent contractor because with that, that money I can use to build develop a brand and hence I'm wearing one of my shirts right now. So check it out, developerbrand.com dude. But I received an opportunity to move here to Tennessee. A really amazing opportunity to the point where I can move here. This company actually just bought a house here in Tennessee and I get to live there for free. I can still pay for my family's rent. I'm paying for the mortgage in Las Vegas still. And then I can move to an entirely new place, live there for free and experience something new, man. So I moved to Tennessee, I moved here to the South. It was completely different and to be honest, if you guys didn't know, I came here a couple weeks ago to visit and well for a business trip and I ended up falling in love with this area. The people here are nice. It, it's totally different vibe than the West Coast where everything's super fast paced. So when the opportunity came, I mean, I decided, Chris, you always tell everyone that you need to not be comfortable, you know, live out of your comfort, stay out of the comfort zone, take risks, right? Do things that you probably would never do and challenge yourself. And I told myself like, man, if I reject this opportunity, I'll probably regret it because man, like I could go back to the West Coast anytime. I have a house there waiting for me, right? Let's say if all things go wrong, my company goes down, right? Let's just say that. And I could just go back to the West Coast easily. And so I figured just pull the trigger and go. And literally I just said, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> Second, I, I'm guessing guys are wondering, Chris, you just said job. Yeah, I have a job as an independent contractor, right? So I've been hired as an independent contractor to come into Tennessee and really build out the websites for this company that I work for. So it's exciting. Honestly, I, I, I'm working for a startup right now. I was able to hire three designers. Um, I was able to get some marketing guy onto the company as well. These are all people that I actually chose and was able to get into the company. I have my own team that I work with, which is really exciting. And you know, it's, it's really crazy because when you think about it, if you would tell me four years ago, Chris, you know, you'll, you'll actually start managing your own team. I would have never believed it. And I'm gonna tell you this, man, managing your own team is freaking hard because you know, one thing I'm learning is that I can't just think about myself. I can't just think about my time. I have to think about all this time. I have to make sure that they're productive because if they're not productive, then I can't be productive because the team that I work with actually helped me be more productive. I'll explain that in another video. Um, so it's been really exciting, man. And you know what? One thing that also had to happen is that if I was to move here to Tennessee, I would no longer be working remote. I, I'm working remote still because the office isn't ready yet. So I'm still 
going to work from home. Right now, my house isn't ready that they have for me. So I'm staying in a Marriott hotel. Really nice hotel, by the way. As you can tell, this room is freaking huge. Still going. Okay. You probably can't even see that. All right, anyway. <laughs> so by moving here, when the office is ready, I'm working in the office. Yes, I'm not gonna be remote anymore, which is interesting because that was always a dream of mine, to work remote, and I loved it. But one thing I noticed was that when I started working full-time remote, man, like, I was getting lazy because I was so comfortable. When I was living in Vegas with my family, dudes, my mom would cook every single meal, my mom would do my laundry. I figured, dude, I love that, it's been so long. I don't have to worry about food or anything like that. I just pay the bills. I have three rooms, I have my studio for filming videos upstairs upstairs and editing. I have my office downstairs in the house for coding and then I have my bedroom, right? Uh, my dogs have a nice backyard and I literally never left my house and I was just so comfortable there. Yes, we're living during a freaking crazy, crazy times right now, but I was just getting too comfortable and I had to do something to just move, you know what I mean? To just get out of there because even though things were going so well for me back in Vegas, one thing I realized was that it wouldn't continue going well for me because I was just being so comfortable. One thing I realized was that it wouldn't continue going well for me because I was just being so comfortable. And I know it's, it's crazy because everyone's so used to the fact that you want to live a comfortable life. And that's true, I do. But I don't care about right now. For me, it's not about being comfortable right now, but it's about how my life will be in the future. I'm not just building for now, I'm building for later. I'm building so that my parents my mom, my stepdad will be totally fine and will never have to worry again. But I don't think I can do that just staying there, being lazy as hell, to be honest, man. So yes, I moved here, which is scary. I'm not gonna lie. I am honestly very terrified just thinking of the fact that I have no family near me. The only time I ever see my family is if I fly back for Thanksgiving or for Christmas. It is going to be weird and not even just that dudes i sold my car so i don't even have a car anymore i really put myself in a position to just work to you know what i can have fun now but you know what i'd rather have fun later my fun to be honest is working my fun is doing youtube videos for you guys my fun is doing a podcast you can check that out in the link description below as well and my main fun is building developerbrandon.com it's it's my passion it's something i'm so passionate about and I knew that I can do that even better by moving here, man. So that is my quick life update. I don't want to make this a long video, but yo, I'm excited to film this new journey. I have my own office in this new building. I'm gonna film that. I'm gonna show you guys that entire office, my own team and new life, my own house here. It's gonna be interesting, dudes, uh, especially for my dogs, right, Oki? Tough girl. All right, thanks for the support, dudes. They love me so much. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to make this a long video. I just want to give you guys a quick update. New vlogs, like literally, I'm going to start vlogging again and do more videos on what you can do to really become a better developer and get in the industry uh, starting next week. So, love you all. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for being so patient. I'm so sorry for taking so long to make a video, man. But I'm excited for this new journey and I hope you guys can join me in it. So if you haven't yet, subscribe. And if you can, show me support, dudes. Leave me a like and if you want, and you don't have to, check out developerbrandon.com. Love you all. This is Krishan. This is the life of a web developer. And I'm out. Peace.